Now come on, Dan. Let's get you back. Hey, he's just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in the stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. So you better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. Spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Amish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. <laughs> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. So, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's Run there. Thanks again. Yeah, you throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Girl, 